wouldn't let him put you off. Oh, oh my god! Mommy. Jesus! It tastes like dishwater. That's a real worry. Is that a white rainbow? Vent. We need to think of something. I keep telling you. And who's pitched a couple of pictures away? Praise the diesel heater. I can't believe what I've just seen. Hi everyone and welcome back to the channel. It is the 11th of November 2023 and we are up in the Cairngorms area just a little bit south of Braemar. We're heading down to Persia. We've actually been out about nine or ten days but this is the first time that I've put the camera on to record anything. We spent the first um, five six days at South Valley Field Caravan Park uh, where we we parked alongside Bob Earnshaw and Bob Mackay and we had a lovely time with them, uh, cheese and biscuits evening and some good chat. So thanks very much guys for your hospitality, Bob and Aileen and Bob and Jenny. It was lovely to meet you. The reason why I haven't filmed yet is because we filmed at all these places before. We've just really enjoyed our time there. We love it up here. So we just thought we'd just sit back and relax now we're heading down to Perthshire like I say it's half two in the afternoon and it's zero degrees and we just see quite a lot of snow on the top of the mountain in front of us directions and I don't know them. I forget them because I'm forgetful. Blair Athol Castle. Sorry I didn't get to film the actual site. We just didn't have time and it we're just heading up to Tom and Tool. Just come through Abbey Moor. It's fairly busy for a Sunday, isn't it? Yeah. Well, not for Sunday. I mean like for November. Is that a cloud or snow? We've gone from six to one. Yeah, I thought in I the could space feel, of about to 10 feel minutes it on your legs. On the legs. Yeah, yeah, can you? Is that a white rainbow? I think it might be. It literally looks like the shape of a rainbow, oh, but it's it white. Oh, isn't it called a snowbow or something? Is it? I'm sure it is. I looked down, I and know. when I looked up, it was clear. to get on the over there now. Oh, do you want to pick one of them, do you? If we can get level, you know, you know level-ish. Do you want the corner one or number one? My bothers. Arrived it's freezing. At all. And it is cold. It's minus two. It's freezing. Not inside. Not inside. It is outside. I've already done a tour of here. It's in my playlist. I think it's called, um, I can't remember. I'll link it below in the description if you want to have a little look. It's just Tom and Tool Bowling Club. It's really great here. Um, people are lovely. It's dead cheap. And there's a lovely little village as well. Winter is approaching. <laughs> Winter's approached. Ooh, that's cool. 15 and 12. 
Uh, so it's 12 without electric and 15 with electric. Yes, we've gone. Oh, there you go. 15 quid. Cool. Go for there. a walk with the dog. Yeah. Microphone's off. That off. This off. Bye. See you later. Bye. Poof. Bye then. Is that all they do? <laughs> we need to think of something. I keep telling you. Yeah. I keep telling you. I can see the gritting fan. <laughs> yeah. That's worrying me. <laughs> That's more of a lorry than a van, though. That. I'm ready for the blinds, but it's flipping. It's cold out it there. It is cold yeah. out there. <laughs> yeah. As soon as you open the door, it's. <laughs> Praise the diesel heater. Yes! Diesel heater! We're all pitched up at the bowling club in Tom and Tool. It's really cold outside. It's about minus two, but it feels much, much colder than that. And it's very, very dark. There's not a lot of street lighting here. We're all cosy in the van and I'm about to cook some dinner. Um, Because it's so cold, we fancied something nice and warming and stodgy for tonight. So we've got a couple of steak pies from the butcher's in Balata. Uh, we've had these before and they're really nice. And I'm going to try and fit these into the my little air fryer. They don't fit perfectly, but I can move them about so they should be fine. Tin carrots, tin potatoes, and I'm going to make up a instant gravy. It's warm in the van, it's just cold out, outside the van. And we do leave some of the windows open on vents. So we leave the front ones down a, a bit. And also we leave the top one on its first vent just to keep the air circulation going and to prevent any moisture building up in the van because you don't really want that and it all steams your windows up and everything especially when you're cooking it's about nine o'clock we're not actually supposed to get the storm debbie up here but apparently so because the wind is howling we've had to close the uh, vents at the top we normally leave them open a little bit just to help with the ventilation of the night but we're not taking the risk of them blowing off so we've closed them down and we've just left the front windows down a little bit instead. We may stay here for another night or we may just get to Balata because I've got washing that needs to be done and there's not a lot of campsites open at the moment because it's winter and they would just be into Balata but we love it there. There's so many walks that you just wouldn't get bored. You can just go on a different route each day. So I'm just sitting here editing on the computer. Suddenly, Mr. Sneaky Lot goes to the front of the camper van and finds my gloves. What are these? Can I have those back? That's Gary eating crisps. Can I have those back? Hey. <laughs> he knows it's naughty where are you going with them Charlie mind your tail on the blinds oh, yeah, he's trapped himself oh you're reversing The next day and we've survived storm debbie or i didn't even know whether it survived yet but i don't think it's too bad up here anyway we were parked into the winds so we were quite lucky with that that was pure accidents um that was skill and planning <laughs> it was a skill and plan and it was just the luck of the draw i don't mind the wind in the van to be honest but you don't want to be rocking side you're to always side. complaining about the wind in the it van it just makes me feel a bit sick um <laughs> oh, your wind's in the van. Well, actually, it's your the dog. It's the dog. It's the dog. Oh my god, it's terrible. So this is a really exciting day so far, but it needs to be done. Where are we off to today? We're heading back to Ballasa Caravan Park. Along the Highland Tourist Route, maybe with scenic snow roads. <laughs> with are no you snow? reading a sign? Absolutely not. <laughs>
all times. One mile. Back again. <laughs> Our second home. We are still on Ballater Caravan Park. We've been here. This is our third night tonight. Three nights. Uh, we just haven't put the camera on. It's done nothing but rain outside. So for two days, we'll more or less hold up in the van. And um, today has been a little bit better. So I've just been out to the shops, to the village, having a mooch about. And I found these now. Someone did talk about these and someone did recommend them. It's these coffee bags. Never had them before. And they were on offer in the co op for £2. So I thought we'll give those a whirl. Well, I've opened the little bag of the coffee bag and it's really strong. Um, it does smell like fresh coffee. So I've got high hopes for these. So we'll get one else and give it a try, I think. Because this could be. A good solution. You just use them like a tea bag, so I've added them to my cup. My cup could be cleaner to be honest. And then it's two minutes to brew. I do have my coffee quite milky, so I'm gonna try it now. See what it's like. It's not bad. Tastes like filter coffee to me. Very nice, just needs a bit of brown sugar. What do you think? Bland, tastes like dishwater. <laughs> there's no flavour to that, it's, there's too much milk in that. I put too much milk in yeah. it and kills there's no, it. There's no coffee taste that at all. You see, I, I'm, I'm a some of you younger ones won't really know this, but um, years ago, they used you to mean be, like me. Yeah, you're like, yeah, 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 it's older than me. Um, there used to be a brand called Mellow Birds. I don't know whether you can still get it. It's really, really like mild coffee, milky coffee. Um, and it's a bit like that, I guess. But um, I suppose you could brew it longer or put less milk in. I wouldn't let him put you off. Just having a little treat. This is Bob and Aileen's fault. They've got me started on cheese and biscuits and cheese with pickled onion running through it and it's so gorgeous and i've just got them with a few crackers as you can see we've worked our way through that it's the same day uh, only it's the evening now and a bit of excitement on the on the campsite well for me anyway took charlie out for a walk and who's pitched a couple of pictures away but kinging it I mean, I've been following King in it for years and years. Um, so Craig was, was just putting his electric into the post. So I just said, hi, Craig. And um, and he ran away. <laughs> he came over. I thought he would just say hi and then carry on. But no, he came over and had a good chat with me and met Charlie. Give Charlie lots of strokes and a biscuit. Telling me all about the house move and the house and the plans and everything. So it was really, really lovely to meet them. I like to say, I've been following them for a long time and yeah, it, there was a lot of excitement, I can tell you. I was very excited to meet them, which is really embarrassing, but yeah. Anyway, lovely guy, just exactly how they are on YouTube. He's exactly the same. Really, really nice fella. So apparently, um, Amy's gonna come and probably see the dog tomorrow. So, like I say, it's just been a very quiet time in the van. So, I hope you don't mind and we'll see you on the next one. If you do like these videos, don't forget to subscribe. It is totally free and it really helps the channel out. And also give us a thumbs up and we'll see you soon. Bye for now.